So now then ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel I hope you're all having a smashing day just like myself and it's finally here the brand new trailer for the second season of The Mandalorian it's finally dropped I'm really excited to see some things in this hopefully we see a bit of Ahsoka maybe a little bit of uh, Sasha Banks character maybe some back and forth from the characters from the first season so hopefully we get to see some more Grief Karga, some Cara Dune a little bit of Baby Yoda obviously Baby Yoda is going to be in it as a money maker and a little bit of uh, Moff Gideon because I love Giancarlo Esposito he's one of my favourite actors he plays so, he plays villains so so well especially in Breaking Bad obviously there's been a bit of controversy at the moment uh, around Gina Carano uh, I don't really want to get into it I'm not really part of cancel culture and cancelling people for what they have to say I just think people should have their own opinions and if they're wrong then they're wrong you just tell them they're wrong and then just go on with it I don't like this whole cancel bollocks even if I disagree with what she said I don't agree with the whole council culture I think it just ruins people's careers but anyway that's getting totally off topic uh, another thing I just want to mention if I look a little bit tired or a little bit uninfused I've basically only had three hours sleep my mum's had a boiler fitted at 8am I stayed over there last night and only got three hours of sleep and literally I've been up since half past seven and the boiler man was there at eight and he's literally just left at like four o'clock and then I've had to come home so yeah enough about my life story and my bollocks and what's going on in my life you're here to see me react to the Mandalorian trailer and that's exactly what we're about to do just in this brief second and boom planets this Ooh. There's the wave finder. No, the wave cre the cre wave finder. <laughs> Where did I pull that from? The razor crest. That's what I'm trying to think of. There's the razor crest. Show me the one safely deemed such destruction. Ooh. You must reunite it with its own kind. kind. Back to Tatooine, I gather. Again. Oh, no. There's the star of the show, Baby Yoda. Jedi. Sasha Banks, apparently. Yep. That would be a yes. It's only coming on October 30th. It's not even that far away. X Wings. They're back. You know, this is no place for a child. Cool carriage. Wherever I go, he goes. Yes. So I've heard. Mad. Oh, there's the uh, flying birds or whatever they call them. Little birds, sorry. Honestly, it's been so long since I've seen Mandalorian. This is the way. Yes. Are we going to get any Ahsoka? Oh, well, that was a little bit underwhelming. I thought we were going to get a little bit of Ahsoka, but pretty good. Some cool, cool little shots in there. Obviously, it's just a teaser because we're still a month and a half out. We'll probably get a full blown trailer within the next couple of months. Anyway, let me pop back to my main screen, go back to the main screen. But yeah, obviously, we're probably going to get a couple more trailers and TV spots as we lead up to it. Because this time, with The Mandalorian rolling out, everybody gets it pretty much at the same time. In most territories, I wouldn't say all, because I saw on Twitter, Sweden have only just got Disney+. Plus, But pretty much most territories that want Disney+, Plus have pretty much got it now, I believe especially like the bigger markets like uh, the UK, the US, most of Europe, most of Europe, not all, obviously, um, have it now. So we can actually all watch it together and it can be an event. Because the, th well, the one thing that annoyed me about Disney Plus last year was the fact that they segregated it. So I I'll admit it. I know there won't be a lot of people out there that admit it, but I was eager. I found a way to watch it without having Disney Plus here. I did kind of pirate it. Yeah, 
hold me accountable, hold me whatever you want to do. I firmly believe that people who make stuff, creators, should be paid for their work. I totally agree with that. But when the thing that you really, really want to watch isn't available in your territory yet, I think it's kind of fucked, to be totally honest. In my opinion, that is anyway. So um, I did watch it, but then there's no excuse because I paid for Disney Plus afterwards and I watched it twice through again. Maybe three times through, actually, because there's only eight episodes and they are pretty short. And every month since it's launched in the UK, I've paid for Disney Plus. So, yeah, I may have done a, a dirty, underhanded thing in the beginning because of the excitement, but I've kind of made up for it, I think, in the long run because I'm still supporting the creators that I love. But anyway, that's totally getting off topic of the trailer. There's really not much to talk about with this. There's a couple of cool scenes. It looks like we're going back to uh, Tatooine with the uh, Tusken Raiders on screen yet again. And uh, Dubax, not Dubax, what are they called? Bantha, yeah. Shows how tired I am, you should remember all this stuff. But anyway, it's nice to see Banthers. We're going back to Tatooine again. I would argue that the Tatooine episode of last season, along with the episode with the Bounty Hunters, were probably the two weakest of the whole season. I preferred the first three episodes of the last two, and the one that was called Sanctuary, where they go to the island and they first meet Cara Dune. The other two were kind of like, just remind me of like spare Clone Wars episodes. But honestly, Looks really, really exciting. Nice to see some great new footage from this stuff. They obviously use StarCraft so they don't have to go and film on physical locations, which keeps the price down during Corona. You obviously can't go anywhere during the virus. So it means we can still get quality content like The Mandalorian, which I did think was quality content. It's probably some of the best stuff we've had since Disney's bought Star Wars. But yeah, anyway, ladies and gents, as per usual, I hope you all enjoyed. Bang down in the comments below what you thought of this trailer. Was it good? Was it a little bit underwhelming? Was it just nice to see more trailer footage? And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also follow me on socials. You've got Insta, you've got Twitter, you've got Facebook. You've also now got Twitch, which I'm trying to stream on in between uh, my videos uploaded to this channel. And also on Instagram, I upload my first reactions to films as soon as I come out of the cinema. So I'll put a quick little reaction to like Tenet recently and hopefully when more and more films come out to cinemas, I'll be able to put up first reactions as soon as I walk out. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.